Welcome to Great Matt's Workshop. Today we're going to go over how to cut PVC floor tiles. But first, it's always important to have the proper safety equipment, which includes hearing protection, eye protection, and respiratory protection. The flexible nature of this type of product is the determining factor on which type of cutting device works best. PVC floor tiles are available in both a raised base and a low profile form. If you're hoping to cut these tiles using a power saw, it's best to use one where the blade travels in one direction. Those that use a reciprocating motion will cause the tiles to flex and move during cutting. The same also applies to non-powered saws and knives. Aside from cutting devices, you'll also want the following tools. A measuring tool, something to mark with, a square, a metal straight edge, and maybe a 2x4. Today we'll demonstrate why the motion of the cutting device is so important by using both power tools and hand tools. For all types of cuts, you'll want to start by measuring and marking where you'd like to cut your PVC floor tile. If you're simply looking to cut off the end of a tile, a T-square or a framing square will help you keep that nice 90 degree angle. One thing I find handy when marking where to cut on a PVC floor tile is to use a chalk marker because it has high visibility and the marks are easy to remove when you're done. Simply follow your marked line with the blade. For a circular saw, push the saw along the line until you've completed the cut. The reason we wouldn't necessarily recommend a, a circular saw is that it can do something like this where it rips the tile. Like the circular saw, a miter saw or a chop saw isn't ideal for the job, but it can accomplish the task. You just have to keep in mind that since the blade is a little shorter, it won't go all the way through the tile, and so you'll probably have to cut from both sides. Pull the blade down through the tile. In some cases, you can flip the tile and cut again from the other side to complete the cut. We don't recommend any of these saws for corner cuts. Now utility knives can be used to cut either straight lines or curves. Once you've marked the tile, align a metal straight edge with your mark. Make sure your straight edge is longer than the cut you would like to be making so you can make continuous cuts. Then follow the straight edge guide, making a series of several scores until you've developed a nice groove. Let the tile either hang off the edge of your workbench at the cut or place a 2x4 board under the cut to allow the cut to open. Continue to score until you've made it all of the way through. If you need to notch out a section to go around something like a door frame, the same procedure applies. Just make sure to start cutting from an interior corner and pull the blade toward the outer edge. This will help prevent overcutting. Now let's discuss why reciprocating blades can be problematic. Reciprocating blades are going to go up and down, which causes your tile to shake. If you need to cut a hole in a PVC tile, a hole saw is one option, but it may not leave the cleanest edge. In order to fit this hole around a pipe, we'll cut the tile right here with the utility knife. Periodically, we do get questions about whether you can use a hand saw, like a hack saw or a cross-cut wood saw to cut PVC floor tiles. Here we're gonna show why we don't recommend these types of saws for this purpose. Thank you for joining us in Great Matt's Workshop. Be sure to visit our website for more information and sample options, or give us a call to speak with a knowledgeable sales associate.